Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Jess, welcome. So as you can see by the title of today's video, today's haul is going to be featuring lots of fall fashion accessories. I'm so excited to show you everything that I have in this video. And as always, I will have everything linked down below in the description box. So if you see anything that you like, make sure that you check down there. So without further ado, let's jump into today's haul. So we're gonna start with purses first. So this first one is from Amazon and it is an asymmetrical shoulder bag. It is available in five different colors and it retails for $19.99. So I got this bag in the color black and I like how it's very minimal and simple. It does have this asymmetrical flap right here where it's a little lower on this side and shorter on the other. And then the back of it looks like this. This shoulder strap is adjustable. It does have this little buckle right here so you can make it either shorter or longer or you can remove it all together and add the crossbody strap, which does come inside of the bag. So when you open this flap up, it does have two magnets right here. And then for extra security, this bag does have a zipper, which I really like. I prefer bags that have zippers over bags that don't, although I do have bags of both styles in my bag collection. So in here is where you will find the strap. So again, this is the longer strap so that you can make it a cross body bag. And it does have several holes so you can adjust the length of the strap. The inside of the bag is lined and it does have one interior pocket with a zipper. And it's a pretty decently sized pocket as well. I really like these pockets for storing like my wallet or really important items that I just need to be extra secure. Now the shoulder bag is on the smaller side. However, I do find that it fits all of my essentials for whenever I want to go out. This is not a purse that I would personally use on my day to day because I personally like to carry a lot of stuff. So I do have a bigger bag to carry all of my daily essentials. But whenever I need a bag that is smaller, whether that be for a date night or if I'm running like a fast errand and I don't want to haul around like a huge bag, I will always just switch like the important things that are in my everyday bag and put them in a bag of this size and then go and just like leave the house quickly. But yeah, this is a cute option to have for the fall. I like again, how simple it is. The black color will make it match with pretty much any outfit that you have. And like I said, this bag is available in several other colors. Some other colors that I think are really cute for fall is obviously this black one, the brown one, and the red one. I think that those three colors are just perfect fall colors. So that is this first bag. So this next bag is from Shein and it retails for $17. This one is, I believe, only available in this brown color. This fall suede is gonna be something that is very trendy. And I liked that this bag had some faux suede as well as some faux leather. So it definitely follows the suede trend that we're gonna be seeing a lot this fall. I know that other ways that we're gonna be seeing suede this fall is through shoes, specifically like suede boots, as well as like suede trench coats and in other apparel like shirts, skirts, dresses, and so on. So I saw this purse and thought that it was great to follow the trend. And I also like the shape of it as well. I feel like it's a very classic shape. Now this bag also has a little buckle right here so that you can adjust how long you want the bag to hang off of your shoulder. I currently have it set to the lowest setting so that it can hang at the lowest point. When I saw it on the website, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. It is unfortunately a lot smaller than I was expecting. I thought that maybe I'd be able to fit like a book in here, but it is too small to fit a book. In fact, let me grab a book so that I can show you. Okay, so I grabbed two different books. This one I would say is like your standard standard size paperback book. I know that hardcover books can sometimes be a little bit bigger. When I put it in the bag, it does stick out the top, as you can see, which I don't love. This one is another paperback, but it's a little bit shorter than this first one. As you can see, there's like a small difference. So I'm gonna see if this one fits in the bag. Yeah, no, it still doesn't. So this bag, is not a good bag to put your books in if you do like to travel with your book. I know that I do, especially if I know that I'm gonna be somewhere where I have like time to kill. And then the inside of it just has this magnetic closure. That is how you close this bag, which like I said, with the previous bag, I much prefer when bags have zippers. So I don't love that it has just a magnetic closure, but I mean, that's some security and better than no security. And then on the inside, it also has one zipper pocket. As you can see, the little zipper is right there. And the zipper pocket size 
is smaller than the pocket that was in the previous bag and then it has this little piece that you just like flip over it gives it a cute touch and it has like this little tassel like thing right here at the bottom so that's this bag again a lot smaller than what i was expecting i really wish it was maybe like 25 percent bigger but i do however see myself wearing this throughout the season because again it's like a very classic shape. It's brown. Brown is just perfect for the fall season and it has that very trendy suede, which we are seeing a lot of right now. Now this last bag is also from Shein and this one retails for $14 and it's available in this red and in a lighter color. I really like the deep red tone of this bag and as you can see from the material, it is that shiny like faux patent leather. A common theme that all these bags have that I'm just now realizing that they all have in common is that this one also has the little buckle right here on the sides so that you can adjust the length of the strap and this one however did not come with the longer strap to make it a crossbody bag this one is only a shoulder bag but here is what the front of the bag looks like and then the back looks like this the bottom looks like this and then just like the other bag this one just has a magnet that keeps the bag closed and then it is just open on the inside and it has zero internal zipper pockets. This deeper red tone is another trending color this season, but I do feel that reds, browns, and blacks are just like staple fall colors that will be trending every season. So I don't think that this color applies to just this year only, but we are just seeing it a lot more this year, or at least like a deeper, more burgundy red. But yeah, so I got this bag to be more so like an evening bag. And also I got it to match with the pair of shoes that I'm gonna be showing you next. I do think that having a bag that is a bold color is an easy way to add some interest and a pop of color to a very neutral outfit this season. Okay, so that was it for bags. So now I'm gonna show you guys some shoes, starting with these right here. I have been eyeing some pointed toe like burgundy pumps like these for quite a while. These right here are from Shein and they are available in this burgundy color and in black. They retail for $27 and they have the burgundy shoe, but in different like styles. This is the style that I got, the one with like the little crisscross straps with the silver hardware. And I do know that they have several others, but this one was one that I liked the most. So these are a pointed toe kitten heel sling back. And I have worn these out already. And I will say that for some reason, I'm not sure why, but this one on my left foot fits perfect. And then my right foot, the sling back keeps like falling off because this strap is just a little loose. So I think I am just gonna have to make like another hole and make this one a little bit smaller than this one. But I was able to wear them out comfortably. They didn't hurt my feet at all. And because they are such a short heel, I feel like that really helps with their comfort. It doesn't make them super hard to walk in. So I do think that if you are new to heels, going with a kitten heel is definitely like the way to go. And they are super trendy at the moment right now anyways. And so I feel like you just can't go wrong with the cute little kitten heel for the fall. So these do have that very shiny faux patent leather on them. And like I said, the red bag that I have, I got it with the intention to kind of match these two together. Now they are not the same identical shade of red, but they are pretty close. Like when I have these on my feet and then this on my shoulder, it's very hard to tell that they're not like identical, but honestly, I don't care that they don't match perfectly because I don't know, I'm just not like a huge stickler about that. So yeah, I think that wearing these two together is such a cute pair. I have seen these heels, or not these heels specifically, but like a burgundy pointed toe little kitten heel be styled so many different ways on Pinterest. And I'm just like so inspired to wear these in the fall. And it just sucks that fall does not start here in Texas until like mid-November, which is so unfortunate because we are almost like halfway through September and it is still so unbelievably hot out. So I can't wait until I can actually like, you know, wear cute fall outfits and like pair these shoes with those fall outfits. But for now, I'm just gonna have to find some like transitional fall outfits that I can wear currently with the temperature and still incorporate these. Now the good thing about these is that they're not super warm shoes. You can wear these any season, but the color I think and the like material makes these a little bit more like fall as opposed to like any other season, but I digress. These shoes are super cute. They're comfortable. They're pretty affordable in my opinion and 
they are very trendy so the bottom of the shoes do have the rubber outer sole which is nice because they're not going to slip and slide on like smooth surfaces and as you can see i have worn them you can see that there's like a little bit of wear right here on the bottom part but not too much because i only wore them to go out for dinner and then to go to like this little bar it was a crafting bar studio so it was a relatively new space i know when you think bar you think of like grimy floors but this place was really nice so it didn't have flooring that was like really gross so the shoes did stay relatively clean but um yeah love the rubber soles love that they're secure i know i'm not gonna slip and fall on these i did get these in a size 39 and for shoe reference i am a size 8 and these fit true to size next up we have these slides these are also from shein and these retail for 20 dollars they're available in two different colors. I got the color camel and I ordered these in a size eight and they do fit true to size. Now these shoes are definitely inspired by the Birkenstock like clogs and I have worn these shoes out already. And let me tell you, they are so comfortable. They're so lightweight, like you can't even feel them on your feet. And I know that to some people, these might look absolutely hideous, but let me tell you, they are so comfortable that it makes it worth it and they're so casual that they pair so well with like cute casual fall outfits like let me show you because i have been scouring pinterest and have been seeing so many people create such cute outfits featuring shoes that look like this and it just really inspired me to want to get a pair for myself and let me tell you it's like wearing slippers out in public that is really what it is i can attest to how long they're going to last in terms of like quality because i know that the original birkenstocks will probably last you a very long time but that comes with the price tag to like show for it i guess as where these are not as expensive they are a lot more affordable which may or may not cause them to not last as long but i will say that i'm pretty pleased with them and these do have a little silver buckle right here so that you can tighten the shoe in this area if you want and then the bottom of them look like this they just have a lot of texture it's like a rubber sole and i also like that it's a shoe that i can wear currently right now when it's still like hot out with some shorts and it looks really cute or i can wear it with some jeans or pants when it does start to get a little cooler outside so I like that I can wear these a lot currently. So yeah, that is these shoes. I feel like these are also a staple pair of shoes that I feel like I see like in a lot of really trendy outfits like on Pinterest almost every year. I feel like this along with Uggs is something that I see every fall and that is very trendy. So if you don't like Uggs or think that they're a little too chunky, these are a little less chunky that kind of give off the same look and feel. And I just now realized right now that these technically fall under the suede trend because the outer part of them has this faux suede texture. So that's pretty cool, I guess. So these next pair of shoes are from Just Fab, and this is my first time actually trying shoes from them. And these right here are the Porsche sneakers, and these retail for 50 bucks. I got them in the color birch white, and I ordered them in the size eight. So these shoes remind me a lot of the Adidas Sambas, which I have actually been trying to get my hands on for such a long time, but every time I go in store, they are always sold out. So I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and order them online instead. But these remind me a lot of them because of their shape, and according to Glamour Magazine, slim sneakers are going to be trending this fall. So we're going to be seeing less of the chunkier sneaker and more of these like slimmer athletic sneakers. Think of like Adidas Sambas, some Nike styles, and really any sort of like retro slim sneaker. We're going to be seeing a lot of this fall. I have already worn these out and I wish that I would have gotten up half a size because I did order these in a size eight and normally I'm pretty much a size eight everywhere, but these are just the tiniest bit like like tight right here along this area so if maybe I had like a half size bigger I feel like they would have fit perfectly but maybe if I just break them in a little more they'll fit a little comfier because that was my very first time wearing them but they are just like my toe is at the very tip of the shoe right here so I do wish that I had gotten these in an eight and a half so that is my recommendation that if you do order these sneakers from just fab is to go up half a size just in case they are a little too small but apart from that, I really do like the way that these shoes look. I like how minimal they are. Their color palette makes them very easy to style with several different pieces. These shoes can be worn casually and they can also be even worn to the office. I feel like they're a good casual dress shoe as well. You know, if your workplace does allow for some dressy casual wear, I feel like these would be a good pair of shoes for that as well. So the next pair from Just Fab are these black boots right here. These are the Monroe over the knee boots and these retail for $85 and they're available in black 
black and in a lighter color. I got the color black and I ordered these boots in a size eight and these boots fit a little bit big, but I will say that the pro of them being a little bit big is that I can wear a really thick sock and they'll fit perfectly. So I don't think that Just Fab has the most consistent sizing because both shoes that I ordered from there were both size eight. One of them was a little too tight. One of them is a little too big. So there's a little bit of an inconsistency there. So for that, I would maybe read the reviews on the website if there are any to kind of see like what direction it tells you to go with in terms of sizing. But they do have this zipper right here on the side. They have a very chunky heel, which is gonna make them comfortable and easy to walk in. They also have a square toe, which in my opinion is not as like timeless as a pointed toe but I do think that the square toe is very sleek anyway. And then the bottom of them has the rubber sole, so they're not gonna be slipping or anything like that on smoother surfaces, so that's good. And I like that the material of the faux black leather is very just like minimal and timeless, and it can also pair really easily with a lot of different outfits. So the last pair of shoes that I have to share are actually some slippers and they are these from Amazon. These retail for $16.99 and they're available in four different colors. I got the color black and I like how they have these little red cherries on them. I thought that they were so cute and was so disappointed when I got them in the mail because you guys, these are the flimsiest feeling slippers I have ever felt. The bottom of them is not the most comfortable. Like the padding is quite firm and they just feel extremely cheap. I don't recommend. These are definitely a huge miss and their sizing options were not that good. I think they just have two sizing options and I happened to fall into one of those sizing options and so that's the one that I got. I got the CN40-41. That's a little sticker that's on the back of them. And yeah, do not recommend. As cute as they look, don't get these. Now these last two accessories are technically not fall accessories, they're more so for the winter, but I wanted to include them in this video anyway. And there are these beanies. Both of these are from Amazon, but what I really like about these beanies is that inside of them, they have this satin fabric lining. So it protects your hair when you're wearing it because as we know, if we want to keep our hair nice and healthy, we gotta sleep with like, either satin pillowcases or like a satin bonnet. I personally sleep with a satin bonnet every night and it keeps my hair from getting super frizzy. I also feel like it helps a lot with breakage. And I just appreciate that this beanie has that fabric on the inside. It also has this cute little pom-pom, but this pom-pom is removable. You can just like pop it out of place and it leaves you with this little thing here. But if you wanna put it on, you can put it on. And this hat, I believe, retails for $15. It's available in several different colors. Here I have the color beige, and I just love the cable knit texture of this beanie. I think it is so adorable. And then from the same brand, we have this style of beanie that is more minimal and simple with the little flap that goes over. This one also has the same satin lining on the inside to keep your hair nice and protected. And this one again is also available in lots of different colors. I know that these aren't technically fall pieces, they're more winter pieces, but I just wanted to show them to you guys and let you know that these are a great option if you want to protect your hair this winter. And that, you guys, wraps up the end of this video. Comment down below which of these items was your favorite. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell notification. That way you are notified every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.